Hi there. In this video, we're going to go through the very worst case scenario of you having a virus and not being able to get rid of it any other way. Now, the first thing that I want to cover in this is before you reach this point, you should have attempted a system restore. And system restore should be about the second video in my series. And there's a link to my series, the, the uh, virus series, down in the description below. Make sure that you go through there and look for your virus because at this point uh, your virus may be may or may not be in, listed in there if the virus you have is listed in there then just go directly to that and you will see how to eradicate that virus but the very first thing that you want to attempt is a system restore in the system restore uh, video I ended that video not having done the system restore, but just being at that point where I just click into, yes, go ahead and restore it. Because had I restored it, uh, I would have lost the video anyway. So that's where I had to end that. But I have just done that restore. And as you can see right here that says system restore completed successfully, the system has been restored to that date. Documents have not been affected. So I'm going to close this now. If system restore did not resolve your issue then come back and uh, we'll go forward with this video. Uh, this video right here is going to be about uh, user accounts. So we're going to deal with user accounts in this. So anyway uh, let's assume that you have caught a video or you've caught a virus using a user account that wasn't the main admin user account. So you're just surfing around and you run across a site and next thing you know virus pops up. Uh, the best way to handle that is to go ahead and close out that user account completely and all open things in the user account and then from there you go down to your start menu and you go to your control panel and you click on user accounts and family safety uh, and then you click on user accounts and you've got uh, let's see make changes to change manage another account okay so we're gonna manage another account and we've got this surf account now we're assuming that you have an administrator account and a surf account for this video if you only have one account this video is not gonna help you but if you have multiple accounts and you've caught the virus on this account, then what you can do is you can go ahead and click on that. And then where it says uh, delete the account, you just simply delete the account. And it's going to ask you to, uh, do you want to keep the uh, surf accounts files? Before you delete the surf account, Windows can automatically save the content of surf, surf accounts desktop documents, favorites, music, pictures, videos into a folder called surf account on your desktop. However, Windows cannot save surf accounts, email messages, and other settings. So if you have a bunch of documents in there that you want to keep, you would click this keep files and you would make a note of where this is on the desktop called surf account. Now before you open that, you will want to scan that with a, a some type of antivirus software. Uh, Malwarebytes is probably the best bet. Uh, there's a lot of free ones out there. Uh, Avast, I think. Malwarebytes. Uh, there's, there's a couple of them. But if you want to keep those files, before you open those files back up, make sure that you scan them for any viruses because a virus, uh, for one, uh, one virus that I'm aware of, can fix or be uh, loves to attach itself to files and there are a lot of viruses out there that do that we'll get into those later but you know what I'm gonna go ahead and delete the account I'm gonna delete all the files I don't need those files because this account was just made for uh, the simple pleasure of doing this video are you sure you want to delete that account if you have a virus in it and you've tried uh, that restore point and that hasn't worked then yes, you want to delete that account, provided that you still have a, a administrator account that you're working from. So we're going to go ahead and delete that account. The account you want to delete is logged in. Before you delete it, you should switch to the user account and log off that account. If you continue without doing this, there is a risk of data loss. 
do you still wish to continue? Okay, I'm going to select no and I'm going to log into that user account and then log it off. So I'm going to go on here, I'm going to switch user. Okay, I've gone and turned off that account, so now I'm going to go back over here. I'm going to go back to control panel. I'm going to go to uh, add or remove user account. We're going to remove that account now. Uh, it says delete account. We've already been through all this, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, delete the files. And I'm going to do. Uh, are you sure you want to delete? Uh, blah blah blah. We'll delete all of the files and we'll delete the account. And if we are an administrator and we have our main administration account and this is an additional account, we're, I'm going to go ahead and delete the account. So, okay, it's deleted and now I have uh, just these two accounts. I no longer have the SERP account. So I can safely close out of this now and go about my business. And uh, everything should be fine. Once you've done that, I would do a restart. Instead of shut down, I would just click this restart. I'm not going to do that right now or else the video will just go dead. So that's how you delete an account if the virus was caught on a separate account. Thank you very much. And uh, if this has helped you, uh, I have a link down below. I would like to get a dedicated computer to do nothing but catch viruses. And if I have already done that, there won't be a link for that, but there will be a link for please send me a virus if I've already gotten that computer. Uh, if I haven't gotten that computer and, and my series has helped you in any way and you can chip in a dollar or more, there's a donate button and a link in the description. Once again, if that link isn't there, then I've already achieved that goal of getting that computer. And uh, the other way you could help me is if you have a link to the virus please write to me and let me know that you have a link to the virus and if I write you back and say please send me that link then that means that uh, I'm ready to take that virus on personally. Thank you very much for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe and I uh, hope not to see you in this series again but please check me out and I'd like to see you in another video. Thank you.